All right, Max, good day for you today, huh? Yeah, really good, before the, the rest day. <laughs> before the rest day. <laughs> so what did you have in your mind uh, before the task today? I don't. I try to not have much thing in my mind before, because uh, I think we have to look at the situation with clear eyes. So not having something predefined before the race. So the idea is we try to, to analyze the task, but we don't have any like plan before. No plan, okay. No. And so once you got on the air, what was uh, what were your thoughts? My thought is uh, we had blue day, uh, so it's kind of difficult place to fly when it's like this because in the one hand you have quite sometimes strong thermals and in the other hand you have really like the worst lines ever. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm... you have to find the right balance between both because if you are uh, your center of gravity is too far behind with the group you are in danger if they find good stuff in front and if you are too in front sometimes you can like sink like crazy so it's always a game how to position yourself with the group yeah and how, how do you think about positioning yourself okay being the center of gravity but what, what were you thinking today to get that good position uh, the center of gravity is also depending on your uh, on your strong points it's not only the the situation is it's a global stuff between what you are able to do and what you can see with the with your uh, with all the pilots and the dynamic of the group so i know that i like some most of the time to have a center of gravity correct in front but two tasks now the two last tasks was it was quite bad for me because i pushed too much in front i always people were catching me yeah sure up so <clears throat> today i was a bit more conservative sometimes in the thermal making more turns than before just to have some more pilots in the feet like this and um, at some point with francis we had an opportunity so opportunity okay. is always like a balance what you can yeah you have to judge if you can go all the way to the end with this opportunity or if it's, if it's just an opportunity to catch some, lead, some leading bonus and come back to the group or if it's not an opportunity at all if it's just like nothing and uh the end of going for the end of speed today what what was the opportunity that you saw <laughs> my opportunity is like um i was above the group and francis was pushing in front he's not at the moment, Francis is not really dangerous for me, so I kind of let him do the work in front. And uh, he, he find a good thermal, so I can join. I can join a bit below, and uh, I let him go just on the final glide, so I can see if he's floating or not, and I adjust my speed. Okay. So it was the idea with Francis. Sorry, Francis. <laughs> and uh, we full bar coming into the, uh, the end of speed, and, and what? No, what? no, no. We we arrived like super high. Yeah. Super high. Okay, yeah. cool. And what glide did you have when you went? What did you go? Well, I went at twelve from the group. Yeah. Twelve to one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and the height above goal. It was bumping uh, everywhere for us, so like maybe 400 meters. <laughs> 400 meters. But uh, at some point it was sinking and all the way in the last three, four k it was bumping. Right. Yeah. Okay. Not the same for everyone, but yeah. And um, how do you find this uh, location for flying? Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uh, I must say that yeah, it's really cool, uh, cool place with. Uh, I must say it's quite difficult with the group. It's the control angles are really different from other places because that's what I was saying. You can sink, you can like climb like crazy. So it's quite difficult to fly, but flying every day, we have good conditions. So yeah. But yeah, okay. The French seems to be doing well every day. Well, more or less. Yeah, we were not really happy with the task yesterday. So, so, so we... what happened? Uh, what happened for you guys there? We, we decided that uh, we had to, to like fly more on the optimized because there was kind of too much uh, people going on the, um, on the side and it creates like uh, uncertainty for the group. So you, you need sometimes to, to go more on the optimized and if Honorin, Luc uh, and all the French go more on the optimized, big part of the group is, is following. So the idea was to stick a bit more like on the, on the optimized. Yeah, I was flying yesterday and it was like a bomb went off after we went over the hill. Yeah. People in different directions. Yeah, and, it was um, like, yeah, it's not usual to see so many lines. 
Yeah, it was one of the interesting things just interviewing people yesterday was that um, the people that led or won uh, ended up on their own for some reason, not through mm. choice, and ended up having to push. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Anyway, hey, look, thanks for your time. Yeah, and um, thanks. Is there anything you want to say to the people back home? No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs>